Bring it up. I'm excited. So, oh, Xavier dude. banning theme park. We'll go clubhouse after for Fav Gaming. Cafe picked by Xavier. Fav picking consulate. And then Villa Oregon banned with coastline. As nice. So, that is very fitting for a coastline, actually, to end between the two. But so this is like Maestro. Oh, Maestro? Yeah. yeah. And with a prep run out there on the bottom side of Garage. Well, that's always the potential of fear and chaos, but it's shut down. Shin. Finds the pickup, finds the roam, and finds a little bit of pressure underneath now as they look towards the skies. They want to swing it on these windows, but Napew says no. They don't truly have a time for a proper rotate, and now they have even less as two more bodies fall, but why not one more Napew? Opens up the game, and Xavier open up the board. No attention is currently being paid to the backside of sight so far, and well, it's going to be this as the first frag, and it goes away from them. Super on Aguirre living up to the stats that he's been able to put down, but he's caught out! A bold rotation through red gets him in the middle of it. They might not know that there's still red sun playing close by, but with Scatman offering some more pressure, well, he knows now. Xavier, the perfect rotation. Good rotation coming in indeed. And there you have it. Super Nagiri, you basically left him to do whatever he wanted. Kills Nagiri found himself back inside the freezer. Scatman will go down, however. Afro will be able to pick up yet another kill. That's a two kill. As the time takes out, the plan now needs to happen. They need to move in. Typhoon takes down one. That's DCH gone. That's the upside down repel that will be coming in to hurt them. And as he moves in right here, one kill comes in. The second one will not be found yet. As it's Typhoon to get the final kill to get away Chloroform and Fav Gaming will be able to get round number four in their pockets and that is that one round that they need at least and all of a sudden they can still have the effect you want them to have chloroform hello you your teammate drone this before brother what's going on it's a very questionable play indeed his number two is now holding off trying to take the challenge up to retson but he's gonna get taken out himself as well it was way too passive there and retson able to pick up that kill no way you're gonna let this man take out your entire team from that one position and finally thus he will be punished but a missed concussion is not gonna be helping to try and find out where they are scat <gasps> How do you both miss that kill? How do you both not pick it up? As you both walk right next to each other. The C4, however, will be able to secure that kill in the end. And Scatman thus will get that kill. That was a, that was a very questionable play. So they suddenly they're both right next to each other. And then they're both Come gone. In. The entry kill comes in as well. Scatman taking down Shin. There we have it. Another one comes in. Number two goes down. Napier hoping to get the one into Freezer as well. Swaps over to the M19, but won't be able to get that Adam kill. So hoping to pick up that kill onto the Jaeger, who's close around the corner. Here you have it. He shows his gun, and that means a brief fire is on its way. Now they need to deal with the player inside the fault. They're trying to push that Freezer, but it's only up to him now. It's only up to Afro with 10 seconds left and he will fall. They have it. Retson and Onigiri with the last two kills. And Xavier put themselves up to 6-1. That's a map point already. He just barely started like half an hour ago. Breeze cooking the nade and he'll take himself out. Oh no. Is this the Somebody reverse sweep about... that we were looking for off the back of some critical yeah. mistakes? Oh, I think so. And all of a sudden, Fab winning round number nine and round by round by round, little bit by little bit. I think we're seeing Fab coming back here. There are only 10 shells well, available for him, but it's enough to take out the entire team if Typhoon is feeling oh, lucky. He's definitely not, though. DCH drops down through the hatch, able to pick up a kill before the refrag comes in. Chloroform able to take down Redstone, but he's kind of in a stuck position right now and just gets taken out. He can be a big difference maker here. There's skill coming oh, in. Oh, no, Hap. There's no difference maker to be had. It's all on Afro when he doesn't have what it takes. Surely we see a smile. Surely we see an Onigiri smile. Come on. He's the top come left on. of the screen come there, on. if you're wondering. A little bit of a... Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. You just want a map. Sneaky. You know what? There yeah. it is, eh? Yeah, we bit. saw it. But the TCSG close range doesn't always work. And against the F2, uh, it's going to have to be huge hitting, but it's not. First skill coming in, Retson able to pick up yet another one as well. That's a double entry right here in the favor of Xavier's Afro now responds, but they know exactly where he is and does he will be hunted down. It's going to be Napier that picks up that kill. And with these last 35 seconds, is only up to type on who's just only returning back to the kill. site on the left, but will be sprayed through the wall by someone on the yellow stairs. There comes one kill. Napier will be hunted down, but he doesn't know that one is actually inside the kitchen and it's missing all the pre-fires. There we have it. Scatman will be able to pick up that final kill. However, Typhon will go down and Xavier win their first round onto that attack. And James already gave us an explanation I mean, for that. Fav, well, they must be shaking at some point. Not right now, because it's still early on. But let's say two or three rounds Ooh. from now, as that's a good peek from Typhon taking down DCH. Well, Have Red. Fire coming through to his way by Retson, who's waiting patiently. But Shin, in the meantime, picks up yet another kill. This means they have to move with a beautiful shot there from number two on that Jaeger. The amount of 
well, sparsity that Fab is playing with because they're literally all over the map. It wouldn't happen either way. It's a flawless round from five. They are picking up their first round as well. And that makes sure that we are staying in this match all close and tight. Able to pick up both of them. But he's going to get punished just a little bit though. A Scatman not able to get the final kill down though. But we'll be able to follow it up with a beautiful wall bangs. Another adrenaline surge coming in. There's one more left. And that should be used to go for this peak right here. Chloroform, however, able to pick up a kill. Together with number two, both able to pick up one. The diffuser is dropped in the middle of the bottom floor. So they will have to recover that one. And it will be quite hard to do so especially if you just jump in and do not even check your corners type on able to pick up on that kill onigiri is trying to respond but he's not able to find anybody as of yet there's awesome utility being tossed through as well they need to get rid of this castle barricade if they want to be able to challenge this person <gasps> properly gets a kill somehow with that grenade and with 14 seconds left chloroform will be hunted from both sides onigiri picks up that kill and xavier is able to pick that round up Put themselves up to two but that grenade that was just used <laughs> to take out that castle barricade with three people being up there that basically also makes it so that there is no opportunity for them to actually go for a plant and as i say the napier walks in the kali playing close range with the spsmg will be able to pick up two kills and it got side control floor form as well hoping to rotate down but his teammate gets picked up there's not much he can do from here as he spots out one gets that kill as the csr x misses its shot and that turned down to about three seconds now this is around for Xavier there's nothing he can do he gets taken out in the end Scatman gets that final kill but it was a very beautiful round to come in just a Kali that rushes the side and managed to pick up two kills completely open up everything <laughs> just that I'm getting so anxious because there is one upside down repelling he just doesn't seem to know and Ty Fall is missing his shots right now and then Aguirre now knows all right I'm um, basically stuck and Shin is going to be able to get the kill down into Napier. Second one will come down as number two will be able to pick up a kill. The oh. beautiful hatchet from Renegiri, however, as he shuts down the man on the upside down repel, but instantly responded to by Afro. DCH gets a kill. Scatman gets picked up. It's only up to the smoke main now as he tosses out yet another smoke canister. Gets picked up from the repel. And this shows why Fav is feeling confident on this map. They are just playing the long game. They're repelling up. They're forcing them into mistakes. They're tossing utility like, you know to You what? Me. If you don't laugh, you'll cry and... I think that's exactly what Fav really felt what? there on the entry for Taipon. Oh my god, is it headshot galore? Left, right, and center, Xavier. They desperately want this match point. They on the yellow stairs. Knows that he still needs to deal with the player in the bathroom. And as he tried to achieve that goal, he got taken out himself. A quick SMG burst to the head. He will not achieve anything in these last eight seconds on that clock. Gets up eventually. Batman gets that final kill. And Xavier are on map and series points. They're about to enter those semi-finals. Type of spot set a potential roamer here as well. The drone game is on point as Retson will be able to potentially pick up a kill. He takes a lot of damage. DCH does so. Retson then follows up as well. The diffuser now is Damn. dropped. Another well, E1D and well, only the thing, the only thing Typhon is really doing is just moving from left to right and gets picked up by Retson by a couple of bullet holes. The repellin will come. One more member is inside of the actual office and the diffuser will be recovered. But there we have a double shotgun from DCH. We'll finish it off. That is GG. And there we have it. <gasps> Jess and Gio love oh. hearts coming out had it ready had it on the standby and there it is savior on the win the 7-3 and a 7-3 a 2-0 a quick 2-0 as they dispatch on oh, five oh they get it wait you, you're you're muted on uh, on uh discord, discord. Right? Uh, discord yeah there you go oh they get it congratulations on your victory W would you like to give that win to Jess and Gio? Yeah, there you yeah, go. There you go. Ah, I love you. I love you. <laughs> so, you know, Jess is here. G there you go. Gio just jumped in to oh say. Oh, my God. <laughs> so, honestly, so much love. I at the end, I, I want to talk about this because we're all watching the cameras and how you guys are acting. Uh, how did you all feel through this entire matchup? Because from our perspective, you looked very relaxed. Yeah. Uh, we just won the team. Uh, the feeling when we play, like the mood when we play, don't uh, make it too serious. So mm -hmm. if we chill, uh, we can think much better. That's yeah. why we, we look relaxed. Yeah. And it definitely worked out for you today. Um, you know, how much difficulty was Fav? I'm not sure, like today in terms of the matchup, but you guys looked really prepared. This is a better Xavier than we ever expected. And even Jess was saying, you know, Xavier today really showed up. They're not just frag heavy, but you guys were really running the teamwork correctly. Do you think that is more into your play style? Did it fit the maps that were picked at the end? Because that map, map band, from our perspective, looked a bit favoring you. Uh, 
to be honest, like uh, we scared that we cannot fight fair on consulate, but uh, really? yeah, because from from our perspective, it's like they very strong uh, when they fight with Gus Gaming, and we did our homework and. Uh, when we fight them, we figure out how to like uh, count, counter attack them and mm -hmm. their strats and things. So w when it came to map one, though, on Cafe Dostoevsky, picking attacking side first is usually you know a difficult thing for for any team to do. And then, did you feel that that was odd that you were thrust onto the defense in the beginning because that was your ban or your pick? Sorry, uh, I'm not sure about the banning and uh, but. I just came into the team speak and that we we got defense first. Uh, but but uh, wait. It weirded uh, you out, didn't it? Because you're like, wait, what? What? Def what? I thought we were picking the map. What happened? Uh, I'm not sure about that. <laughs> <laughs> but but the the thing that I know is uh today my team play really well and like we we our, our communication is mm -hmm. perfect today. Even we lose some round, but okay. You just go back, you play it again, and then it runs even better than it did before. Now, of course, in your in your next uh, play, you're going to be uh, playing against Giants. Now, that is a huge game, yes. one that you you are known to excel even in more than the usual. Um, how excited are you to face Giants again? We call you the Giant Killers all the time. I don't know if you listen to it, but uh, our expectations are high. What are what's what's your point of view on that game? Uh... Yes, Giant. We, we will try to kill the Giants again. <laughs> I mean, you know, fair enough, right? It's revenge. You need it to start up the season, play the Major. Here we are today again. Yeah. Anything that scares you from Giants, or do you just think it's smooth sailing to the Grand Final? Uh, I think we're going to be, like, relaxed, like, today, and, uh, yeah, and kill Giants, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I mean... You slay the Giants, that is the big game. It's a lot on anybody's shoulders. Of course, uh, only Cloud9 were able to really go through that. Now, you guys really improved a lot through uh, phases one to two in both of our stages. And here you are, you stand today, semi-finalists at the major, huge performance. Anything you would like to say to all the Xavier fans out there, uh, getting old uh, and new. We will try our, our best for tomorrow. We won't, uh, we won't let you down. Uh, we, we slay Giant once we can slay them twice i guess <laughs> yeah why not right you gotta be confident you gotta pull yeah. all the team together yeah <laughs> there you go so there it is i'm very hopeful to see you guys performing today was uh, definitely very exciting to see and i cannot wait for okay. savior versus giants tomorrow so thank you very much onigiri uh you, Hap, one one more thing before you go hap was uh, complaining all the time and screaming about why no buck uh why can no you, buck? Can, you, can you can you explain it to him uh, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, I think that Faf going to like they did their homework, I guess. So I don't want to like pull the bug out. Maybe I pull the bug out tomorrow. Maybe not. <laughs> oh, let's do it. All right, there we go. We're all excited. Thank you very much, then Onigiri. We'll see okay. you in your next matchup against Giants. Congratulations again.